Classic WoW Hardcore is the best MMO out by far. Oh, the music. Hardcore Classic WoW is worth your time more than any other MMO out right now. Is it? Okay. Dude, the music is so good. Oh. Recently, I've been playing WoW quite a bit. Okay. I've enjoyed the game in multiple versions, and I've done a wide variety of the content that All it right. offers. In my time playing WoW and through the peaks and valleys of content, I've stumbled upon a new way to play the game. Ooh. It is a way to breathe new life into an old classic. Mm -hmm. The reason why I personally like it is I like it because it really it gives that feel of an MMO and like exploring a big world and like, you know, venturing into the unknown sort of a feel, right? I, I, I think it's very, very fun personally. ...happening here, and it's hard to explain it in a way that it captivates the same way mm -hmm. that playing it does. We've all heard the cliche, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Yeah. However, I think that there's some real wisdom here when there we look is. at it in the context of hardcore classic WoW. Mm -hmm. It, it's the entire reason why people really play Vanilla WoW, I think. Not the entire, but it's a, a big reason. The world matters. Every zone matters. Every zone is played. Every zone is used. It's just... It, it's cool, man. It's, it's a world of Warcraft, not just a world of endgame, right? What's up, Otaku? we explore this point, I think it's important to look at current WoW to highlight some key differences okay. that are instrumental in understanding the appeal of hardcore... They are very different. WoW. In retail, the game exists oh mostly God. for the end game. Yep. You reach max level on your character of choice, and then it's up to you if you want to farm rep or do some crafting, or maybe slam some keys and push your Raider IO. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, personally. I think it's completely fine. It's it's a very different way of enjoying the game. Retail is more catered towards endgame, and there's lots of stuff to do in retail, but it's just very different. It's a it's not even the same game anymore. It is so different, right? But it's it's catered toward a different audience, which you can definitely tell, right? Mythic Plus is fun. Primarily from my experience and the content that I chose to do was Mythic Plus. Same. I'm by no means a god gamer, but I do enjoy challenging myself and trying to improve. Yep. The gameplay loop that I experienced in retail consisted of logging on and trying to get into keystone groups. Yeah, and then getting declined because you don't have high enough achievements, or you don't you, you don't have enough item level, or you don't have this, or you don't have that. But I, I do think personally, whenever I did play retail, it was Mythic Plus that really, really made me enjoy it. And to a certain degree, also raids, right? Lil Pro said same? Yeah, of course. Because, that I mean, that's what I liked about it, right? As a healer, this wasn't much of a challenge, but I would be remiss in failing to mention the me? Oh, that's cool, that guys. Thank you. if you are not a tank or healer which is that it's difficult to get into a keystone group in the first place. Yep, it is. However, that may be something to discuss at a different time. Retail has That's the best players are. to date in WoW. Classes feel amazing to play. They feel mm -hmm. complete, and no matter what class you play, you do have a place in the game. I, I did actually, I haven't played retail in a little while because I kind of got sucked into vanilla again, but I actually really enjoyed Warrior. I thought Warrior was very fun to play, personally, at least in the state that it was in, in Dragonflight, right? As you move higher and higher, there's definitely a meta to follow where people will prefer to take the classes that are the highest yeah. performing Warrior is really but for fun. the vast majority of players who are not running 25 plus keys the balance is truly impressive i feel like it's not even only in the big keys where people are super uh it sounds people are super anal about it right like they're really oh we gotta make sure we bring the be best spec best classes best comp even for like low keys or whatever the hell people are always super super picky with everything right like, they really, really are, man. Warrior's amazing in Dragonflight. From when I played, it was really fun, yeah. The problem with retail is really not, not mechanical. You don't think they are? From, from, my, from my experience, it, it definitely has. But, but maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe my view on it is very, very uh, jaded because I'm a streamer. And I usually just play with you guys whenever I stream. So, like, maybe I don't have, like, an actual good view on that because I just play with viewers and stuff. And to a certain degree, there's, there's always some people that, to play with and stuff. So maybe... You know, my, 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 my take is not that great on that. It's not aesthetic. And it's not narrative. The real issue for me is the oh, gameplay gosh. loop. To simplify and for the purpose of this discussion, my gameplay loop consisted of logging on and then looking for a list of available dungeons, yeah. each of which I've ran almost 50 times, and choosing which one to do. Okay. Since I was being incentivized to push my rating higher, the scaling of the keystones got exponentially more difficult, requiring equal amounts of focus. Gear uh -huh. acquisition slowed down to a crawl, where I was forced yeah. to wait for my weekly vault for any meaningful oh, upgrade. God. This eventually became less fun because it required more effort for oh, little reward. 
yeah, you need to correct stats, you need to correct, oh, you need to get mastery or haste, you need to get the right gems, and then, oh gosh, man. It, I know some people like to put a lot of effort into yeah. the games they play, but I play games to relax and escape the crushing realities of life. Oh. Enter okay. Classic Hardcore. Okay. At first, I thought it was going to be super sweaty like retail was for me. I assumed it would be something that I couldn't just chill and enjoy. Oh, I really hate to admit it, but I was wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hardcore Classic WoW really is not that difficult. It the isn't. only thing the extra challenge really does is it makes you have to actually progress your character at every stage. To Most people that die in Hardcore is because they don't pay attention, they all tap in Winter Spring and they watch a video, and then they die to an Ice Claw Bear, right? It happens, but that's how it goes. But it's just the progression that's so fun, you know? I, I really, really cannot stress that, man. The leveling and the progression, I feel more accomplished finding a blue bag or like a like a six slot bag in Elven Forest on a hardcore character than getting like a super piss item in Dragonflight, you know? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know what they've done with this game to make it feel so satisfying, but they really nailed something. Make sure that you're safe, because death equals delete. This means that every God. single piece of gear that you get is felt. Uh -huh. Compared to getting that weekly Truly. ball piece in retail, this was a breath of fresh air. Personally, I'm leveling a warlock, and when I got my wand from enchanting, Ooh. it was a lot like... Yeah, you're powerful. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's the sticker. <laughs> I know I can't, it's the sword. Behold, the sword of a thousand truths. <gasps> oh, wow! We must get this sword to the ones who have proven they have no life. Suddenly, mobs were <laughs> melting in front of me in a satisfying display of power. It made me feel so much more safe than previously when I had to uh -huh. cast and use my mana and would find myself in situations where I was ooming what? in danger. So Shadow Wizard Money Gang. What is that name? Okay. Progression is the main takeaway here. Progression is why most of us play MMOs. We feel like our characters get stronger mm -hmm. and we like to take on new challenges. Yeah. I think this is what Hardcore Classic nails really well. Since Ooh, it's it does. not about endgame, every single quest you do ends up feeling like meaningful progression. It's so fun. Getting my imp and then getting my Voidwalker. Getting fear. Hey. No, stop it there. Only getting the imp. We stopped at the imp. Okay? And then sacrifice. Every single point of progression what? was felt in an impactful way. Getting a four stam chess piece felt just as good as getting that weekly vault mm -hmm. upgrade in retail. Taking what, on what the trolls in Dun Moreau for their shimmerweed felt more tense than fighting heroic Razagat. Yeah. That's kind of wacky. Bro, oh. There's some, uh. Is that one set? Oh. Careful of the one. Spot. Oh my god. I can hear the strider. Yeah, there, 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 there's some music. God, I love the MCA. Dude. Alright, dude, alright. Easy. Yeah, we're it must be really fun. I haven't done any duo uh, challenges, but it must be really fun playing with a duo as well. We earned this shit, bitch. Hey! Uh, maybe. Because of how long you're in one zone, getting to the- God, I don't feel tense when I fight vanilla mobs. I do. I, if, you, if you really care about your character, you get into a tight situation. It is scary, man. Classic is fun, but it's not harder than retail. I, I think people have this like idea that, that classic- Okay, I'm gonna say classic is not hard. Nothing about the challenge is really hard. Th th nothing is, right? It's just- if you don't pay attention for a few seconds or for whatever, you can easy, easily die. It's very easy to die. But if you take a chill and you play, it's not hard. The, the thing that makes the challenge hard is because you have, like, let's say, like, average player maybe, 1 to 60 takes 7 days slash play. That is 7 days of play time where you can't die, right? It's a long time to, like, if, because if you don't pay attention for a few seconds, you might pull too many mobs and you're in danger, right? The next one feels incredible. Each one has its own interesting hurdles to get through, like Hogger and Elwyn, or the Tunnel Rat Cave mm -hmm. in Loch Modan. Yep. The challenges are definitely there, but it's different. It's not mm -hmm. a challenge because of how much the content scales, but it's a challenge because of the random things that can happen when yes, you're out in the world. Yes, exactly. Maybe you just killed a Tunnel Rat and another one spawned, but you're deep in the cave and running out would be nearly impossible. This makes for some tense moments, but overall mm -hmm. the experience is chill. My friends- Tense doesn't equals hard. Right? Of course there is there is a situations where like if you're a good player you're gonna survive, but I think there's a there's a big difference between a game being hard or being like tense and you know like you know intense. Because 
I think a lot of people have this idea that a difficult game equals a good game. That's not necessarily true. Like, nothing in Classic WoW is really difficult. It's just, you know, it's just the way that it feels that that is fun, right? It can be punishing, yes, but I don't think hard equals good necessarily, right? It still needs to have fun gameplay and, like, you know, be immersive and stuff like that. Um, tense and hard? No, not like that. Classic is more revolved about knowledge. I mean, the only thing that you could really say is difficult in Classic WoW is farming rank 14. But then again, that's not even hard. That's just incredibly stupid and dumb, right? As somebody who's done it, it's not a hard grind. The, the thing that's hard about the grind is that you have to play 18 hours per day, right? But that's not that doesn't make it necessarily hard. It just makes it really grindy. But that's just like how it goes, right? So what about the gameplay loop? We talked about retail and how that felt, so let's uh -huh. explore how Classic Hardcore compares. Okay. In Classic WoW Hardcore, I log on and I can get straight into questing. This yep. directly oh. increases my power through spells. Okay, he just like went into my ears. Spells and talent points gained from leveling. I can choose to grind for gold and materials. Uh -huh. I can level my professions. For what I do in Classic WoW, I'm progressing my character and making it stronger. Yeah. This is not the case in retail, where eventually your only progression comes from weekly vaults. I think this is I what mean, leads to the game of- Retail is like, it's just a different game. It depends on what you do. Some people farm mounts, some people do achievements, some people do pit battles, you know, uh, farm gold, they do mog runs, they do raiding, arena. There's a lot of stuff to do in retail, but it's just a very different experience, right? Eventually losing its appeal, despite having amazing mechanics- No one does pit battles. Top one of the chat if you're doing pit battles right now design i could only convince myself to grind m plus with no reward for so long <laughs> hardcore classic never has the same drop off in progression okay as a result i found myself becoming attached to my character in a way that i hadn't felt since oh yeah long. oh yeah the feeling of wonder is still there and the pace is satisfying that's what it is about i should elaborate that i haven't been playing standard hardcore but instead <gasps> playing a custom rule set that allows me to play alongside some friends how dare you <laughs> No, play whatever you want, man. There, there's no. I mean, you can if you want to play it like that. You do that, right? That's that's fine. We only allow trading within the guild, and death still equals delete. That's fine. I know I probably haven't done justice in explaining just how compelling this way to play the game really is. It's fun. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it's really hard to explain the magic here without feeling it. This guy's called Cat. The the, the, the lady here's called Cat Jam. I just realized that, guys. Little Cat Jam running around. I really believe Hardcore Classic is worth your time more than any other MMO out currently, and it's not close. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, take on Hogger, or Vagash, brave the Deadmines, or run away frantically from Stitches, yeah, it's fun. and experience the World of Warcraft like you never have before. Slow and steady and with everything mattering, not just the end. Yeah. Try it yourself and let me know what you thought. At the end of the day, it's not going to be for everyone, but maybe True. this video will get your journey started. It is very much not for everybody, that's for sure. It's a fun way of playing the game, but it's a very different way of playing an MMO. Because MMOs are whole, about the whole, like... In, MMOs are basically, in essence, about investing into your character. And Hardcore kind of breaks that in a way, where, like, if you die, it's all over. But it also makes investing into your character feel more worth it, right? Because, like, oh my gosh, if I die, I die, right? I stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash crouton is here. Okay. Drop a follow and come hang out and enjoy this journey with me. Nice. Thanks for watching and try to stay alive out there. My croutons is here. Good video. I like that. It, it, it was a nice video. I, I, it, I just saw it pop up in my recommended and I figured we should we should give it a little watch here, man. I'll, I'll, I'll toss him a little sup. I'll like the video and uh, nice video. I'll link it to you guys right here as well. There it is. The video.